Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. Oh, hell no. So y'all remember the viral couple, well not the viral couple, but the girl that went viral on TikTok because she was trying to find that man on the beach. Well, the married couple or the wife, she recently did an interview with her husband. So let's let's watch this update because I have to do this. Um, it's titled, How a Viral TikTok Video Almost Got a, a Husband Caught Up. You mean how he got himself caught up? <sighs> I pay attention to the details, okay? We gonna pay, I like to pay attention to I like to pay attention to the details. You gotta you gotta be street smart. You have to pay attention to the details because if you don't, it will get you caught up every freaking time. You have to pay attention to the smallest of the smallest details. You cannot look past the small details. Thank you for the super chat. Isn't a public health risk. He's a narcissist and many therapists are not trained in this personality disorder. So it's easy for him. Yeah, because I mean, a uh, love language. She's a love, like she's a love therapist. He need to go to a, a, a trauma therapist or something. I don't know, but that ain't it. That, that ain't it. Mm, that is so true. But I'm just waiting on uh, 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 Kanye West to come out with some type of interview. Because all that man is abusing Kim. I don't care what nobody's saying. That man is abusing her. He was going around prancing that woman around and then want to try to get his wife back. But listen, Kim ain't no better. I'm not about to make it seem like Kim is any better because Kim ain't no better. You know your husband has a mental health condition. Why poke the bear, sis? You can't stay out of the media until your divorce is final. I mean, something. The only time you need to be on social media is when you're working. I don't get it. She likes to poke the bear, though. I noticed that. Somebody said they're in it together. It's believable. I can't tell no more. But one, one thing that I, I will say is it's hard to tell because he be doing some crazy stuff, y'all. He do. They, Kim ain't, but Kim is not an angel. I just want y'all to know that. She's not an angel. I think they both narcissistic though. Cause she loves attention, good or bad. She will eat it up. And I'm just like, girl, do you want us to feel sorry for you or not? So it's very strange. I think the whole situation is strange. I'm not going to speak out on it yet. I feel like it's still, it's still too soon to speak on it. Okay. Uh, but let's get into this video. She definitely, listen, the whole Kardashian clan meant they match. Because, you know, the, the mama, wait a minute. I know y'all saw that. You know, the mama is getting cheated on, allegedly. Kris Jenner, yeah, she's getting cheated on. By Corey, I know y'all saw that. If not, we're going to get into it after this video. He was very flirtatious, so let me see like, if I can maybe find him. This woman wanted to find a mystery man she met on the beach. She found him all right, and his wife. He's now clearing things up with the shade room after it nearly ruined his marriage. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Okay, no. Nearly ruined his marriage. He, he, let, the accountability needs to be on him. He almost ruined his marriage. Okay.
Last month, Misha Renee went on TikTok asking the world to help her find this mystery man she met in Miami in August. But things got messy when the world collectively found out who he really is. Eight million people watched Misha Renee's TikTok with the caption saying, quote, TikTok, help me find this man I met in Miami. He walked right in the ocean to introduce himself to me. I was lit when he gave me his number. I'm counting on y'all. Hopefully he ain't married. The only reason why I did it is because I was on TikTok and I seen the popular trend that was helped me find him. It was just simply just to reconnect. It wasn't anything more. Oh, but he is married for six years, in fact, with four kids. I tracked him down. This mystery man is Aiden Giles from the Detroit area. He had no idea the video was posted at first. It was his wife, Cherie, who says somebody text her about the video. We just immediately started arguing because I started immediately started cussing him out. Like, bro, you really got me messed up. And I kept asking, I said, did you sleep with him? He said, no. So she messages Misha directly. I said, did you sleep with him? She said, no, we literally only met at the beach. And that was it. So I'm like, well, you looking for him this hard. Obviously, it was something to y'all. She's like, is that your man? I said, not no more. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> I'm going to say this respectfully. Um, no way in hell I would ever sit down next to this man and, and conduct an interview over a, a subject like this. Ever. Ever. But, you know, clout, it does a lot to people these days. I mean, think about it. Uh, the Tinder swindler guy is is potentially being offered a dating show. Oh, I hate society now. I hate it here. Earth is so ghetto. Earth is ghetto, y'all. It is ghetto. Because I'm just like, I, I could never. A man embarrassed me like that. In front of the world, millions of people making my marriage a joke. And you think I'm going to sit down and do an interview with him? I guess. Mm -mm. Couldn't be me. And then she was like, um, if you don't mind me asking, like, who are you? I said, that's my husband. She says Misha apologized immediately in their messages saying, quote, sis, I'm sorry. I had no clue something would happen. I wish the best for you and your kids. I won't be reaching out to him. I told her, I'm like, sis, you can have him. I'm good. It was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Was it cheating? No, it was not cheating. No. But it was mm -hmm. disrespectful because you're a married man. It's certain ways you move it. Okay, uh, I need a raise of hands. Put the hand emoji up in the in the chat box. Do you feel like he cheated? Do you, let's rewind it because I I'm confused. Um, <laughs> cause I wish my man would be hung up on some woman like this on the beach. Let, let's play this again. Is this cheating? Hold on, wait a minute. Let's hold on, wait a minute. Um ex Okay. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me You know what? <laughs> I don't really feel like I'm cut out for society and relationships. I don't feel like I am. I don't feel like I am, y'all. I don't think I am. I don't think I'm cut out for marriage. I don't think I'm cut out for relationships today because uh, no, 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 no. I don't think I am. I don't. I don't think I'm cut out for relationships marriage. I don't think I'm cut out for any of it. That's crazy. Okay, but let's 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 continue. Let me go back to my time stamp. That's crazy. In ways you don't. I did not know he was married. Had I known he was married, none of this would even be a thing. It would just be like, okay, let's move on. Because if the shoe is on the other foot. I would be first. 
You'll be mad. Because yeah. Ada, you know, everybody is looking and you know, not only you're a good looking guy, you got the most of Miami. Mad? Girl, he wouldn't have been, he would have left you. He would have left you. And you know, that was just a video. We we don't know what he be doing when, when no one is looking. <laughs> He, he felt like that man looked like he was a bachelor. He was single. He was on the beach living his best life and got caught. So who else was he on the beach with that day doing the same thing? And it's not, it's not cheating, but listen, that's her marriage. That's, that's her marriage. And in, in my marriage, that would be considered cheating because if it's not considered cheating, then I guess I can go out and do the same thing and you would stick beside me, right? You would stick beside me. You would stick beside me, right? Because it's not cheating then, right? That's crazy. If I can't go out and do the same thing that you're doing, why is that? Why is that? But you do it to me and I'm supposed to accept it. Couldn't be me. You muscles and you hugging her tight. And so everybody is looking at that. I know, and and that's it sucked because I knew the video looked so bad, and I told her I wish I could put you in that moment because it was nothing like the video made it look. From her point of view, she said that you asked her for her phone number and invited her after, and then she also said that um, she lost your number, and that's why mm -hmm. she looked to TikTok to try to yeah. find it. Yeah. You guys, uh, exchanging numbers is not cheating. Can someone clarify that? <laughs> I need somebody to clarify that. Exchanging numbers, that's not cheating. I, I just, I, I don't get it. Exchanging numbers is not cheating. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Honestly, no. She didn't have my number. She didn't even have my real name. I didn't even know they were recording either. So it that she didn't have your real name because you lied. She didn't have your real name because you lied. You gave her a false name because you're married. Got it. Thanks. Threw me way off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Cherie, you rolling your eyes. Cherie. <laughs> because it's hard to say you don't you don't know someone's recording you and you pose it for the camera. Did. I posed for the picture. I didn't it's pose crazy. for the camera. The, because and the pic and the pic was an innocent pic. I feel like it was innocent. I understand what you're saying. I'm not even about to get back on that topic. So yeah, she kicked me over the head. I get it. It was disrespectful for my marriage and my wife. I get it. But in my head as a man, I'm kind of like it was so little and innocent. Like, babe, it wasn't nothing like that. Cherie says it took out of the mind. It was so innocent it was so little it was so innocent okay well let Cherie go out here and do it then let Cherie go out here and be caught up in a situation similar to the situation you were in since it was so little it was so innocent oh, oh. okay well let Cherie go out here and, and, and get her groove back then this is making me upset like what let Cherie go out here then and and do her thing Cause she's pretty, I mean, she's, she still got it. She still got it. Cherie still got it. Cherie could get out here and she still got it with four kids. She could get out here, let her get out here and do the same thing and see if it's, it's just so little, it's so innocent. That's crazy. This, mm, mm. Weeks to figure things out and truly understand what happened that day. I know what type of man I married. I didn't marry a cheater. I would have never married him if he, he was a cheater. Um, but after um, sis, I don't think any woman that has ever been cheated on in a marriage, I don't think they signed up to marry a cheater either. I think they ended up showing their true colors. Um, thank you for the super chat. Oh, wasn't yeah, wasn't true, true, true. Thank you for the super chat. I don't think no, I don't think no woman that got married thought that they were going to get cheated on. I don't think no woman that got married thought that they were going to marry a cheater. I, I don't, I don't know a woman that, and listen, I don't know a woman that hasn't been cheated on, but I don't think any of them intentionally signed up to be cheated on. I don't think they did. 
And, and we about to get into it. Just, just give me a sec. We about to get into it. Just give me a sec. Just give me a sec. I'm talking to my parents and praying with them and just trying, like, wrapping my mind around it. I, and I kept saying, like, I don't want to make an emotional decision. Just, oh, it's a permanent decision of temporary emotions. Sheree. And this is why I tell you guys, um, when it comes to taking advice from older women in your family that have been suppressed majority of their life, it's not, it's not a good idea to take advice from them. It's not, it's not a good advice. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. It's not. It's not because they they're going to counsel you to work it out, stick it out, because that's what they were told to do. When it comes to cheating, that's a serious that's serious. That is serious. Now, when it comes to other little things, you know, that's a little different. But cheating, that's a serious offense. And so um, when you go to the older women in your family, they're going to tell you stick beside them, stick beside them, because that's what they did. And, you know, you really need to look at them and see if they happy, because a lot of them are not happy. They're not. And if they if they could do it again, like Gabrielle Union said, um, and who else said it? Um, Lala Anthony, they wouldn't have took their man back. That's what they said. So just throwing that out there. The older women have been manipulated and they have been... <sighs> It's, it's you can't really some of them you can some of them you can't it just depends realizing how a nine second video on tiktok can change everything she and aiden will be starting counseling next week did you suggest the marriage counseling because of this situation or would you have chosen to do this if this didn't happen this situation it definitely it broke the trust I have for him. So I suggested it. Aiden, what have you learned? What have you learned, sir? Oh, the number one thing, if you are a married man, please keep women six feet away from you on any beach possible, okay? I want um, other couples and married couples just to see how all this unfolds. Whatever y'all go through, if y'all strong enough, y'all can get through it. You know, like if you strong enough, put God first, you can get through it. Aiden says he's never been a you mean what you putting her through? Y'all not going, like couples that go through things together, you know, financial hardship, uh, maybe they, they not seeing eye to eye. You decided to put your wife through this. She didn't ask to be put through it. Y'all, I'm not cut out for marriage. I don't think I am because I, I, would, I would lose it. I would, I would lose it, y'all. I I would I'd be flipping tables. It wouldn't be a good, it wouldn't be good. It would not be good. Cause you had me waste my time marrying you. I could have been living my best life single. No kids, no, no real responsibilities. And you wanted to waste my time. Ask me to marry you. And this is what you do. I, I don't think so. I, I don't think I am because I would be losing it. I'd be losing it. A cheater. There's never been infidelity within his marriage. He does say that he is excited for counseling and his wife, Cherie, says he really doesn't have a choice. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. I love me some Justin Carter, though. I like how he be reporting on the news. Anyway, well, that's the end of that. that that's the update. That is the update. Um, I don't know. Someone said she's definitely a married single mother. And this is why uh, you guys, when it comes to these women that you see in relationships and marriage, don't automatically think that their life is magically amazing because you never know what people are going to sense. You know. Uh, what happened to Dear Jackson? What y'all talking about, Dear Jackson? Yeah, I don't. I I think he's definitely either he has cheated and he hasn't gotten caught, or maybe they lied about that because they're trying to save face. I don't know. Who knows? But I don't believe that this is the first. This is his only time he's been caught. He looks very comfortable. Uh, 
Um, oh, I thought there was some new information that came out about uh, Derek Jackson. Yeah, I don't. The reason why I really, the, you know, the situation there, how they are deciding to uh, move forward within their marriage, it, they're laughing, they're joking. It's not being taken serious. I don't see the marriage lasting just off of that alone. I'm sorry. I can't. Um, but I will say this the reason a lot of women are, they stay in marriages like that is because men will impregnate you back to back. Uh, I think they have four kids together, right? And this is why you have to be careful. If you see red flags in a relationship, in a marriage, right? And you see how they doing certain things and things like that. Some men will intentionally trap you because they know it's harder for a woman to pick up and leave once kids are involved. So he has impregnated her back to back to back to back. And so now he feels like he can run around on her and she's going to stick beside him because of the kids. Be careful. Like if you if you see red flags and there are no kids involved, leave because it's only going to get worse. And once they start dumping kids in you, it, they really feel like they can go around and do whatever because you allow certain things to happen before the kids got here. So it's, just know it's only going to get worse. And that's why I'm saying protect your womb. The same thing with Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon did the same thing. Impregnated these women and now basically saying, well, you just got to deal with me the way that I am. But I'm sure he wasn't being 100% honest with everything up front before he got them emotionally attached to him. So you just have to be careful with that. Like as a woman, you, you have to understand that some of these men, they see children as a trap for you because they know... It's harder for a woman to get out here and date as a single mom. It's harder for a woman to give up on the idea that you guys could potentially be this family. It's harder for you to move on when you have multiple kids with a man. It's just harder on you. So you have to choose correctly the first time. You do. So, and once men start dumping kids, dumping kids into you, and I'm, I'm not saying that in a disrespectful manner, I'm just saying like, just, you know, as an example, that is what they do. So you got to choose right the first time I'm telling you, because they're going to feel like they have some type of possession over you. They feel like they can just run around on you and treat you any type of way and still have access to you. So you got to be careful with that. Um, you know, I guess what he did, that's going to be subjective. You know, if you label it cheating in my eyes, it's cheating to you. It may not be, um, it's going to be subject subjective to what you allow, what you're willing to tolerate. I'm not willing to tolerate nothing like that because it's really simple. This is how I determine whether or not something is tolerable to me. Number one, if it affects me in a negative way, he embarrassed her. So it affected her in a negative way. It most likely took a hit at her self-esteem and her self-confidence. That's number one. Number two, number, number two, can I go out and do it? And it be received the same way. Hell no. A man would not even put up with that. So it's not tolerable to me. That is how I determine if it's tolerable. That is how I determine whether or not I'm going to tolerate something a man is doing. If I can't go out and do it, why should he be able to go out and do it? Why should I have to put up with that? Why should I have to tolerate that? That doesn't make sense. We respect each other, right? We're in a commitment. We're in a, a, a relationship. It's mutual. It's fair. It's balanced. It's whole. We, we respect each other. So if I can't go out and do it, why should he? Why should he be able to go out and do it? Why should I, why should I have to tolerate that?